Lada. Where? Where you want to go? Where? Today, me and Vlad I tried to figure out the storage food Kambuza, I don't know the name in English but the stuff you took out with you to eat <laughs> This is a lot of stuff and I tried to figure out a way to uh to put all the all these things here inside i don't have a lot of space but i think uh, i can do it i really don't know if i buy everything and If it is enough, I have the bread stuff like cracker and bread stuff like that. I have fruit uh, like like this. This this irritate dried fruit. Chocolate, a lot of pasta, of course, rice, vegetables, and something like that. Very spicy. You want to see Vlad just trying to figure out a way to jump here? <laughs> So while the Blanc complains, we are at our first out, we are going to test long range. So we are going to go to a little bit on the under Novigrad today, anchor there and then come back maybe tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. It will take, I believe, about six hours to get there. And so we can test everything, the off-grid capabilities, solar panels, power creation, and, um, and everything else. So, yeah.
are we going? <laughs> okay, so our first destination is uh, uh, a nice bay near Novigrad. It's a very protected bay, so uh, we sail there today and uh, we stay one night just to try every every sail, the jeep, the main and everything ah, it's very nice very very nice we wait so much time for this moment and i'm so happy very very happy. okay so we have done three seacock inspections since we started as you can hear the the engine we couldn't turn it off because there is no wind there were eight knots at some point but then it disappeared so it's okay we're gonna keep going um by engine just to be sure that everything works so i need my trusty flashlight and let's have a look at the engine if everything is going well also batteries are going well and power creation it's okay Yeah, so it's a message from they are doing jobs at sea in um, in Venice, so they, they have been sending that. So I don't think you're gonna hear me, but here's the engine room. It's a little bit of oil and I cleaned everything yesterday. Um, that is a little bit something that worries me. There is definitely a oil leaking problem we're gonna finish the test I have oil here so it's not like we're gonna end up without oil but that's concerning it's enough to be concerning um, maybe we will end up in the heart again removing the, the engine because it's more than it's, it's more than a, a drop. Anyhow, it is what it is, as my friend Eddie says. <sighs> okay, so everything else looks good. There's no water in the bilge, which is good. So it's only that issue there that we are gonna try. I'm gonna try to fix. Understand what the problem is. Hopefully it's just a gas kick, but we will need to see. Even just for one second, we have wind. Just one. Just one, so let's try turn off the engine for the first time and sail with sail for the first time. Ready? Let's go. Ta-da! Ah, peace. The wind. Yeah, but this is, you know, the thing is that this is also this is part of the test because now we have all the navigation turned on, the um, even the autopilot turned it on, and uh, what does it show? And uh, we need to know if the solar panels give us enough uh, yeah. to work. Questa non ci si può fidare, eh? Guarda, 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 scivola proprio. Ah, però... Questi qua sono mangiati. Questi dobbiamo... Vedi, cose che si scoprono. Questi dobbiamo ordinarli. Questi sono mangiati. Scivola via proprio, guarda. Cazzo! Mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> Anna. This Another is why we thing. do test. 
Another thing to buy on this boat? Nothing to change, yeah. These are completely it up and they're not chewing into the into the line and the line slipping. So now I, what I did is that I give it a fourth loop so the, the, the friction is higher. Now it's, it's skipping it. But this is a, this, we need to search for this. We need to change this. And now that we do it, we can do it to all the four. Because perfect. This is why we do test. <laughs> This is why we test it. Okay. Yeah, but it will be nice if the test go well. Even one, <laughs> at least one thing. Yeah. Uh, at least one thing. But yeah, that's okay. well, that, that's not how life works. Yeah. For now, I appreciate this moment so much. Yeah. Nice. This is 5.6 out of out of 10 knots wind, which is it's good. We're doing 5.6 out of 10 knots, which is is really good. Nice. We are not gonna win any American Cups, but <laughs> no. this, actually, this is all you need to cross the, the Atlantic. If you have seven, six, seven knots, that's all. You will, be, you will be doing the Atlantic in 21 days. If I could sign to do only 10 knots for 21 days, will <laughs> I will sign perfect. it right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can finally show you guys what I did, all that I did with the navigation, with the navi pod and all of that. Normally in Bavarias, you will need to sit there and stay there because all of your, uh, all of your multi displays are here. So the only way for you is to stay there and wait there. In my Bavaria, I added my navi pod that I can unlock and move around as much as I want. So here is how to navigate in style. Let me, let me block that. So in my Bavaria, I can just sit down here, very comfy, and I have all of the information that I need. This swings 360 degrees, so I can be here, I can be there, and I can manage my entire boat from here. I can see my targets, I can see my IIS, I can see the situation of the wind, everything that is needed. But also, I can, if I open here, I have everything, but I also have my navigation, uh, sorry, my autopilot is here. So, I can control the, the, the autopilot directly from my chart plotter. I just need to go like that and I can see everything that he's doing and everything else which is so 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 cool I have everything that I need I can you know go around in my in my in my information and see everything that I need here I can stay comfortable and that's why I did it that way I don't have to be, you know, sitting that back there or anything like that. Even when we are, when we are going to be, you know, like night navigation and everything else, and it's cold because it's it's night, um, you can just turn this around, facing that way. You can stay under the under the protection of the of, of the spray hood, and and still have all, all of the information that you need. So, and again, I'm not saying this is the way to do it. I say I'm just saying this is the way I did it in this boat with these characteristics and it's paying off. Apparently it's, gonna, it's working really well. Just to show you, let me give you an example. I'm sitting here in my, in, in what is going to be the rest of my life place. This is my spot 
and now I let me show you this let's say you're navigating this is how I was navigating before right this is the, the, the zoom that I was keeping so now I decided to zoom out and I see that I'm going to pass really close to a yellow boy to change my route I don't even need to stand up and going there there is the um, that's where the the main unit of the autopilot is the the really nice thing about Furuno I imagine I don't know who else, who else does it I don't care this is how Furuno do it you have it on your net on your chart plotter here and I'm gonna change course about four degrees you can see the boat is already responding boom now I know we are gonna leave that boy enough to the right to not be worried about <laughs> I love that that I can do all of that from here I found myself the perfect spot to see to check if I see dolphin it's my mission <laughs> every time <laughs> look at that i can see both sides of the boat so if there's a dolphin i'm gonna see it. so we have one of those situations that i wanted to test we have there right there a guy with a spinnaker and I I was sitting there in my place and I saw the guy here he doesn't have an IIS so it was the radar who created the target and start tracing it automatically and now I saw the guy movement and I started giving him water but then I saw he he uh, jeep this way so I start reducing to the to the right and now I have my alarm because of, of course, but now the guy is gonna pass me on the bow safely. And this is one of the things that I wanted to test. I wanted to test the, 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 radar, the, radar, the radar targeting and the precision of it is it's working amazingly well. I feel so, so much safe. Okay, so we dropped anchor in this uh, small bay that we met, uh, we discovered <laughs> the first time we came to, um, to Croatia three years ago with the Sith and it's just like an hour, so let's say about five uh, nautical miles from um, Umago, which is the first port of entry, which we don't get anymore because there is no port of entry to do any any here uh, as we are Europeans but the, the thing is uh, it's a big bay but it is really as you can see it's a, it's, a, it's a big bay but it is deep enough um, that it is it doesn't look like but it's really protected because at least for the weather that we are expecting today uh, tonight should be coming from those trees those, that tree line there so that opening is not a problem anyhow just to be sure I dropped uh, 30 meters of chain into 3 meters of water so you know as Ling and Larry Pardier said it's like if you have the chain there's it's not doing any anything good inside the boat so just leave it as much as uh, scope as possible that's what I do um, I also improvised a, a snubber 
uh, because I can't find the one that I that we bought specifically <laughs> specifically for that. But that's gonna go okay for tonight. And everything else is good for now. We learned a lot during this uh, first first initial budget. Um, this is the reason why we are doing the tests. But we have a, a couple of things that we need to add to a list of jobs to do before actually leaving. This is what went well and this is what can be needs to be fixed. Come here. So after the first uh, 20, 28 miles of like 83,000 that we have ahead. <laughs> Now this is just the, the first day of, of test, but um, starting from what went well. The seacocks are perfectly functional and dry. The, the water that we found was a residual from before, but it's, there is no water coming from the seacocks, which is good. Um, there is no water coming from the seacock that we changed on the sail drive, which is good. Um, the sales uh, are good. We, uh, we we had around 13 knots top wind, but mostly was between eight and eight and ten, and everything went well. Opening the um, opening and closing the 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 sails went well. Yeah, yeah. Um, the main the main works perfectly. The new one works perfectly. is is perfectly cut for this boat. Um, also. Uh, electronics work perfectly. Uh, um, the the radar from Furuno and the and the chart plotter integrate perfectly, and we can see everything. And you can pour the the, the wine in the meantime. Um, integrate perfectly. The targets are displayed, and the all the notifications. Everything works perfectly there, so that's good. And autopilot works brilliantly. It handles uh, the. Um, the wind, we didn't have too much wind, but still, it, it handled it really well. Uh, what else is a positive? The commodity is yeah. really comfortable. The solar panel generate enough, enough electricity. So that's good. On the other hand, we found a couple of things that needs to be fixed. Uh, first of all, the, the self-tailing system inside the in the winch uh, let the the rope slip. I think the this you know the the grip part of it it, it have 24 years. So yeah, we need to replace they those. They never change it. Yeah, so we we, we lost the, the 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 jeep a couple of times. It will unfurl from the winch uh, by itself. So we need to fix that. Um, also, there is a problem on the wiring of the batteries. It's not a problem, but it's, a, it's essentially they're wired different from the seat. So, battery number one is the house batteries, and battery number two is the engine battery, which is only one. So, when we were navigating, I put it on two, thinking it was the house battery, and we drained the battery and all the electronics went out for a moment but it's already solved and uh, it's just to remember that one is two, two is one, two is one um, from what it was on the Sith the other thing which is a little bit more concerning is that the engine is uh, losing oil and that's something that have been <laughs> following us since the yeah trip. yeah the skit like, was the same <laughs> yeah we don't have a we don't have a diesel engine that doesn't drip oil so hopefully it will be something like a bearing or something like that uh, so it can be fixed without having to unload the the engine from the from the boat but if it's something more serious that will mean at least a couple of weeks wait so let's hope not yeah uh that's one that's two uh the, th the third thing is that um the loop line that i bought for the furling of the main is 
too skinny so it will slip through the through the winch and you need to put, uh, apply pressure to it in order to um, to furl it or unfurl it but the real problem is that as it is right now I cannot take any uh, rifts on the main because if there is a, if there is enough pressure against the, the the sail itself it will unfurl it will slip on the winch and it will unfurl so that I need to change that that uh, that line there other than that I think everything else went well yeah we discover we have to use the autopilot yeah. to change yeah. sides of the sails yeah we to tag. It's not like the Sith yeah we we finally saw the difference between this boat and the Sith uh, yeah. on the Sith I could do I can uh, she could be on the helm and I could jib my by myself uh, just you know take one line in one hand and the other one in the other and I could do it that like that definitely not, not in not this in boat this one. <laughs> uh, yeah the forces are the forces applied are, are big enough so, so it, it one person can't do it uh, not with the setup that we have right now maybe if you have an electric winch you can probably do it but one person no so the idle pilot becomes the first mate to whoever is at the helm uh, because during the day we are two, but at night during night watch, uh, in order to not having to call the other person and, and to do the jeeps and stuff like that, we need to use the autopilot, which have an amazing functionality for uh, self uh, steering and and jeeping. So yeah, that, that's really good. It's so it's very simple to yeah. use it. So yeah, so yeah, I think that it is. Um, we will stay here for today and tomorrow here at this bay uh, tomorrow we will test the dinghy to see that everything on the dinghy works well too and tomorrow there will be like 25 knots outside so we can also test the anchor <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. hope th 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 that work perfectly yeah let's hope that works and yeah that's all I think we are good for now yeah Chin. Chin. Yeah.